Top diplomats from China and the U.S. engaged in a frosty exchange on Monday as U.S. Secretary Mike Pompeo declared the two powers were stuck in fundamental disagreement over a range of issues from trade to China's domestic and foreign policies. The exchange, between Pompeo and Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi in Beijing, displayed an unusually stern tone from both sides, amid rising tension between the world's two largest economies. Wang, also a state councillor, accused Washington of escalating the trade conflict, interfering with Taiwan, and leveling false accusations about China's domestic and foreign policies, according to a readout posted on China's foreign ministry website. These actions have damaged our mutual trust, cast a shadow over the future of China-US relations, and go against the interests of the people of the two countries, Wang told Pompeo. We demand that the U.S. side immediately stop its wrong actions and words. Pompeo retorted that the issues that you characterized, we have a fundamental disagreement. We have great concerns about actions that China has taken and I look forward to having the opportunity to discuss each of those today because this is an incredibly important relationship, Pompeo said, according to a Bloomberg report. Last week, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence made a series of allegations on every aspect of China-US relations. He accused Chinese student and scholar associations of being part of the Communist Party effort to foster a culture of censorship, and accused China of among other things military aggression in the South China Sea and interference in the U.S. midterm elections. Wang said cooperation should be the only choice for China and the U.S., but denied Beijing was interfering in U.S. domestic affairs. China is committed to developing a good relationship with the U.S. At the same time, China also resolutely protects its sovereignty, security and development interest, he said. Pompeo's meeting in Beijing was the last stop of his Asia trip, intended to revitalize the stalled denuclearization negotiations with Pyongyang, in particular, amid concerns that worsening Sino-US relations could undermine their cooperation on North Korea. While in Seoul, Pompeo said North Korean leader Kim Jong-un had agreed to allow inspectors into the country's Punggye Ri nuclear test site, one of the main sticking points over Pyongyang's denuclearization pledge. During the meeting in Beijing, Wang said China and the U.S. should strengthen cooperation on North Korea. Pompeo also met with Politburo member Yang Jiechi. However, there were no plans for him to meet with Chinese President Xi Jinping, which was seen as a sign of worsening relations between the two powers. During the last three days of his Asia trip, Pompeo met with top leaders from all three nations in Japan, South and North Korea. The U.S. diplomat also met with XI during a similar trip to the region in June. On a more positive note, Wang said China was still willing to solve the trade dispute with the U.S. through negotiations, but they must be conducted on an equal, sincere, and serious basis. Ties between the world's two biggest powers have experienced a sharp downturn in recent months, raising concerns that their trade war could spill over into other areas. High-level exchanges between the two countries have been frozen, including a planned diplomatic and security meeting between U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis and Chinese Defense Minister Wei Feng he originally scheduled for mid-October in Beijing.